everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 501 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So I actually got this in my Summer Fab Fit Fun box as a mystery gift and I was so excited about this because I like this brand and I love makeup products so I'm like this is the perfect mystery gift for me. But so if you want to see my summer fab fit fun unboxing i will link that video down below but this just sounds like the perfect product for me it says gives natural looking backlight glow revives dull complexions and helps refine the look of pores and one of my major skin concerns is large pores especially along my cheeks and my nose so my favorite types of primers are the ones that minimize the look of pores and also this says Light up your complexion with a combination of optical diffusers, illuminating crushed stardust pearls, and pore refining ingredients to help refine and lessen the look of pores, providing a subtle sheen and a smoother canvas. And this retails for $38 at Sephora. So that is a very expensive primer. Oh my gosh, but look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I love this packaging. But $38 is amazing because the FabFitFun boxes are $49.99, but in my description box down below, I do have a $10 off code, but I got so many other products along with this $38 primer. So it's just such a good deal, such great value. And this is a big primer. This is full size. It's one fluid ounces. Okay, let's see how this looks. Oh, for some reason I was not expecting it to have this kind of applicator slash you just squeeze it out. So I'll just put a little onto my finger. Oh, it's tinted. So I'll just start out with that much. Rub it between my fingers. It's basically the texture of a lotion cream. So not really that balm texture of normal pore filling primers, but more just like applying a cream. So I'm really focusing this on where I have large pores. Ooh, yeah. You can definitely see that sheen, that luminosity, but I like that it's not super glittery and Tin Man type of sheen to the skin. It actually just looks like a really natural, pretty glow, even though if you look very closely you can see a little bit of the shimmer gosh I feel like it's just like the perfect amount of kind of that glow for this to be the perfect wear alone type of product if you didn't want to wear any foundation on your skin and it did kind of minimize the look of my pores definitely not perfect and as minimized as I've seen with other primers but it did still do something but I do really like how hydrating this feels on my skin. My skin is feeling very plump and moisturized. And also a little bit goes a long way. That tiny little bit that I took, probably around a pea size amount, was the perfect amount to cover my entire face. But just for the fun of it, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more. See how this layers up. Wow, yeah, I actually do think that adding some more over my pores actually did help to minimize them even more. Ooh, wow, I'm impressed by that. Yeah, I feel like maybe when I first applied it, my pores got like 25% smaller and then I just added some more. And now they look, I would guess, like 25% smaller again. And then as always, when I'm trying out a primer, I like to try the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. And I always mention that this is a great foundation because it doesn't have any of those real skin enhancing benefits. So I can really tell how my skin looks underneath it. And now the foundation is applied and I think this looks so good. I think that my skin has this beautiful radiance to it. 
but it also looks so smooth. So this really did help smooth out the texture of my large pores. I feel like my skin is very hydrated too, where I get kind of dry on my chin, kind of like the sides of my face here along my temples. It still looks very smooth. So I'm very happy with this so far but I'm going to continue wearing my makeup for the rest of the day and in the description box down below I will put my wear test results of how the foundation, how the makeup lasted with this primer. If my skin got really greasy or the texture came out, anything like that, I will put that in the description box. And if you've tried this before, definitely, as always, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.